EU Researchers' Night is an opportunity for anybody to come into the university and discover research, to find out about what is going on, um, how discoveries are made, who's making the discoveries and the impact those discoveries will have on our society. We've got a whole lot of things already um, in the pipeline, um, some very interesting projects from the Arts End of College talking about creativity, um, looking at the discovery of uh, history. Um, and in the sciences, we have one of our zoologists has just discovered a new species of bird and uh, she's going to be talk, uh, talking on the night the uh, zoology department will be open. This uh, building, the Trinity Biosciences Institute, which, which is a state-of-the-art research institute, is going to be open and the public um, can come and see the technologies that we use and listen to presentations about research being made in layman's terms. This is a huge deal for Trinity to get the opportunity to open up um, our uh, institutes and our research labs and uh, research opportunities to um, the public. Um, it's also a great opportunity to display our links with our collaborators in other countries in Europe. This is a European-wide event and uh, over 400 cities will be involved with um, an order of magnitude more uh, research institutes. A particularly exciting set of events that will be going on that night will be um, a set of competitions for um, our researchers to present potential research projects with collaborators in topics that they haven't previously collaborated on. We're hoping that the public will get involved in judging the, uh, at this competition so that individuals from the public will get an opportunity to decide which research is it that they think will be most important or of most interest or of most value to society. This is a great opportunity to challenge the stereotype that research is only done in labs by people in white coats. Uh, research is done all over the campus in so many different departments and disciplines and I think the public will get a chance to be involved and, and learn a bit more about the diversity on offer and what's going on. Uh, at Science Guy, we get to engage with people working in digital humanities, people working in biomedical science, people working in psychology and particle physics. And so this is a chance on one night for the public to get to see all these different researchers, what they're doing, what they're hoping to do, and also to put a face to the research. Whatever your particular interest, there'll be something to grab and engage you on that night, be it in the arts, the humanities, sciences, or even the creative arts. My particular project last year was looking at a series of wonderful 17th century maps from Ireland, dealing with the entire island, whatever area you were from, whatever county, whatever parish, there was something there to interest you. This year, I'm moving to a global stage with an even bigger map collection dating back to the 17th and 18th centuries. And I'm sure you'll enjoy seeing what we have to offer. Last year's event was very successful. We had a large number of uh, people from the public coming in, meeting with researchers. And I think people were really fascinated with what they learned about the type of research that goes on in the college. People had no idea about how diverse the research was and how it affected problems that people um, associate with, with everyday life. Research is about discovery, it's about finding out. So one of the first and most important things about research is just it's so interesting and so fascinating because we're finding out about new things. But it is through research that we have made so many advances in society. So our healthcare at the moment, our new teaching abilities, our new understanding of our own history has all come from research. But even more importantly, realise how critical it is to a society that we have ongoing active research in topics that are of major impact to society and also of major interest to individuals in society.